my character is called Stefano, and in the play he's described as um, a butler. Uh, and at one point, uh, someone says, oh, is this not Stefano, my drunken butler? They're like these two comic characters who are sort of like in cahoots with each other and forever falling out with each other. And so there's always that sense of them being, you know, together. And, 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 and on this movie, you know, Russell and I have sort of become uh, chums and we sort of, we find ourselves colluding with each other. And, you know, and so it brings a, it creates its own sort of energy, you know, which hopefully we'll, uh, we'll be able to translate to a, you know, to a viewing audience. He's very good at finding ways of telling the story visually so other than just relying on what's being said or what's being explained by the actors or by, by the characters. It's a rollicking good story. I mean, you've got a shipwreck, you've got, uh, you know, lovers finding each other, you've got this strange, mysterious character at the centre of it, you know, Prospera in our case, um, played by Helen Mirren. This, uh, she's, she's like, a, she's like a, a regal figure and she's like a magician. She's like, you know, she, she, she's Merlin, she's, she's Her Majesty. I mean, she's, she's kind of all these things. And this incredible array of very disparate and very wide ranging characters. You, know, you have the court, um, the, the, the aristocrats, and you have these, this little bunch of below stairs characters, you know, servants. Uh, you know, Caliban, and who's kind of half monster, half man. You've got uh, Stefano and Trinculo, these kind of drunken sort of uh, roustabouts. And, and then and then Ariel, this, this other non, kind of almost sort of ethereal sort of figure. So there's lots of, there's lots of great storytelling elements. And, and, and of course the story is so epic. 